Well, you know, this will make your heart Phil as well. All week long, Detroit teachers have been picking up the school supplies. We gathered with the help of Leo's Coney Island. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell joins us live from the warehouse. And Kim, how's it looking down there? I was just talking to a volunteer named Wanda Hogg, and she says that all week it's been looking like teachers are kids in candy shops as they pick up supplies. You can see there's only a little bit left right now, but there will be... Uh, but the, this will be distributed tomorrow. What is left to teachers at a warehouse donated by the city of Detroit. I'm joined by one teacher, Dr. Saida Rahamadan, and thank you so much for talking to me. Tell me what it means to see people um, donate all these supplies. I think it's it's very important that uh, people are feeling the needs in Detroit, and especially in Detroit public schools. We've been hurting the last couple of years, I think, in terms of all as teachers and our benefits and the needs of our kids. I worked in a few schools and every school I worked at, there was always, you know, a shortage these last few years on these supplies. I mean, we have our $200 every year to use, and, you know, and order supplies, but my students go through a lot of pencils every year, notebooks, you know, these are the things I need all the time. And so uh, it's good to have, you know, uh, an asset like this and people coming together especially people thinking that we actually need these things you know to teach well and thank you dr. Ben Ramadan for teaching the kids and doing the work you do and thank you to everyone who helped make this possible live in Detroit Kim Russell 7 Action News that's a beautiful thing yes and thanks to you Kim as well for caring enough to fix the schools